Hi, my name is Aaron Deal, and I'm a pianist, and this is the New York Philharmonic's 30-Day Practice Challenge. I'd like to talk a little bit about transposition in the practice regimen, and that's been helpful uh, to me for internalization of a piece of music, not just memorization, but uh, actually understanding the relationships uh, between uh, harmony and melody. And uh, the great pianist Fred Hirsch uh, taught me this little exercise uh, where you can go through several keys in, in a passage or um, in something that you're performing and seeing how well you actually know uh, the music. So uh, we'll start off with a piece by Thelonious Monk uh, called Panonica. And uh, it starts in C major. So what we'll do is we'll take the first eight bars of the piece. We'll start in a, a C major and then we'll go um, to F major, we'll go through the cycle of fifths, okay? Uh, so, it starts off. And so forth. So you go through the cycle of fifths and you end up eventually in the original key. Uh, this exercise uh, is, is really helpful in counterpoint as well. Uh, say something like um, a feed by Bach uh, and understanding the voicings and the, uh, the voices, excuse me, and the relationship between the voices. Um, a fugue uh, in D major, for example, from the Well Tempered Clavier. Uh, we can start in D. And then we can go again through the cycle of, of fifths, so we can go uh, up to A from, from there, and then E, and then B, and then so on and so forth. So um, let's, let's see what we can do here. <laughs> So this ends on the five or the dominant, so we can go back to the beginning, um, go to the subject in A major. <laughs> down we can. It's a hard key. I don't know how the fingering is going to really be in this key, but... No. So you can work at it as slow as, or as fast as, as is necessary, but the point is really understanding all the relationships uh, between um, the voices and uh, the passage that you're playing. So I hope this is helpful. 
uh, and stay safe. And um, thank you very much.